Hi guys, I think it's time for a beauty budget tip. First, I got this idea from a book that I read or started reading and um, I posted on my Instagram and everybody wanted to know, you know, how to do it and whatnot and it's very simple and it's very cheap but it does a lot for so, you. So the book I got it from is called Clean Body, The Humble Art of Zen Cleansing. Clean, cleansing? <laughs> <laughs> Zen Cleansing Yourself by Michael D. Hong. Here's the book. And I actually didn't buy this book. Um, I was bored one day and I was looking through my mister's library and um, yeah, this was it and it caught my attention. So this is where I got the idea from. So no credit belongs to me. Three things. Well, four really, but three, because four kind of the fourth one kind of just comes. But anyway, um, the first thing that you're going that you're going to need is cotton, either cotton balls or cotton pads. I wrap. I really like the cotton pads better than the cotton balls because um, they're already flat and you know they don't peel or pull away from each other. And this is what it looks like. Can you see that? God dang. Okay, there it is. Yeah. You can get these at Walmart. I believe they're like maybe um two dollars. So they're very cheap. The second thing that you need, this is at Walmart. It is 88 cents. This is lemon juice. This is all you need is lemon juice in your life. Lemon juice reacts um as a cleanser. So this is why lemon juice is great for your skin lemon juice um removes dead i wouldn't say dead skin but removes like you know imperfections on your face and clears your face up and also um it also i wouldn't say tighten well yeah it does it tightens your skin and it's also great for men that shave and you know preparing to shave this is great to use lemon juice the third thing that you need is a face rag just a regular face rag this is white so you really can't see it but just a regular face a clean face rag if your rag is getting brown from your face and whatnot you need to switch <laughs> really fast so that's a great that's tip. all you need and water of course so the first thing i already did it to my face this morning but i'm just going to go through the steps with you first thing you need to do is take your one of your cotton pads like so and take your lemon juice you're going to open it it doesn't have a hole so you have to make a hole and you're going to douse the pad um in the lemon juice Right? And then you're going to take the pad and you're just going to wipe it all over your face. Like you're just wiping off makeup. You're, that's what you're doing. You're wiping all over your face, forehead, underneath your neck, and everything like that. Then throw the pad now, away. Now if you look at your pad after you wipe your face, um, it's going to have dirt on there. So that's, like I said, lemon juice removed. Then that. you're going to wait about 5 to 10 minutes to take to rinse off the lemon juice off of your face. So at this point, you're not touching your face. You can walk around. Um, and as it dries, you'll feel it kind of toning your face, making it tight a little bit. Um, don't worry about that. That's normal. That's what it does. And then you're going to take your rag, like so. And then you're going to douse your rag in warm water. The warm water really opens your pores and you know helps it to um receive whatever is on your face and whatever you're wiping you're gonna douse it and then you're gonna wipe it off now as you can use your hands but um if you're trying to remove imperfections from your face it's best to use it's best to not touch your face so it's best to use a clean rag on your face um to remove you know the lemon juice um, since i've been doing the this procedure every morning my skin has gotten better um i don't know i should have done it before and after but i had i don't know if you can see 
I had imperfections right here, just dark scars um, and like a little bit of pimples. You can see it more on this side, but it's, it was darker than this and it's been clearing ever since. You moisturize your face after. You're going to let your face air dry. Don't touch it, just let it, let the water evaporate from your face. Walk around, do something, you know, whatnot. And then as it's, you know, as the water is evaporating, you're going to take your favorite lotion. Now, as you can see, this says olive oil included. I just opened the, the cap and I poured in olive oil and then I shook it up. You just shake it and olive oil is great for your skin as well. Just pure kitchen olive oil is great for your skin. So I just pump just a little bit, like about that, like a, that much. Rub it into your skin, rub it into your hands and then put it on your face, all over your face. And then your hand, your hand, your face will gradually get soft every time you repeat this um, process every morning. It gets soft and your skin gets even more vibrant. Um, it's more clear, more clear and you will love your skin even more. So doing these steps every morning is, is really great for your skin. So you don't need strong, strong, um, unless your face really needs it, like a dermatologist told you to use it, you don't need strong soaps and, and stuff like that for your face. A lot of things that can help your skin is right in your cabinet, is right in your fridge. You just need to take the time to research and you know read and learn upon it. Thank you, this is another budget beauty tip and I hope this helped, bye.